primetime TV and more than 109,000 people braving a steady rain. Penn State was ranked fourth and fifth in the two major polls and were anxious to prove themselves against the Hawkeye team that had won eight straight games going back the last season. And after the week-long buildup, the game could not have had a better start for the Happy Valley faithful. Under center is Clark. Royster, left side, blocked from Coral. Stop. Throws it deep downfield, wide open. He's got Powell, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Penn State. And this joint goes wild. The opening play from scrimmage for the Nittany Lions. They go 79 yards. A great call here offensively for Penn State. Play action here on first and 10. Talk about a play action fake. It held everybody at the line of scrimmage, and Powell just runs a takeoff route downfield. Penn State was ready to take off on defense as well, even with some injuries at linebacker, including the fact that leading tackler Sean Lee could not play. These Lions were hungry for some Hawkeyes. Both teams were 3-0 and and anxious to prove themselves against a conference opponent. In their first two series, Iowa managed one first down, and it was Penn State that had the Hawkeye. Shotgun stands in third and six. Back he goes. Pressure steps. He fires. Dry a kick to the air. And it's intercepted at the 21 yard line. The Nittany Lions catch a ricochet. Suke. Nick Suke. Good old tip drill. Interception. Momentum still favoring the Nittany Lions. And it's going to be Clark running something he hasn't shown much this season. And he runs for the first down for the 35-yard line, so a different look from Darrell Clark. Back he goes, in the pocket, throws, Moy, first down, 45, turns up field to the 50, the Nittany Lions move the chains. Again, a good job by the offensive line, straight ahead blocking right up the middle, and Royster gets about three or four inches short of that first down. Royster up the middle, Royster lowers the shoulder and thrown back, and it's going to be very close. A heck of a play there for Iowa. I think he is short of the first down. Fourth down, quarterback sneak, pushes the pile forward. He's got the first down. What I've loved about this drive, it had a 13-play drive, is Galen Hall and Jay Paterno mixing up not just the play calling and the balance, but also the formations. Almost a different look for Iowa to deal with every single time. And it was a thing of beauty for Penn State fans. Their longest drive since they joined the Big Ten. 20 plays that took 10 minutes and 17 seconds off the clock ending with Colin Wagner's 27-yard field goal and a 10-0 lead. It was good to see Navarro Bowman back at linebacker for the first time since early in the opener. But after an impressive first quarter, the momentum started to gradually shift. The battle for field position changed. And when Ryan Donahue dropped the punt to the Nittany Lions 6, it would help the Hawkeyes cut the lead in half by the break. Clark in the end zone back. In trouble, fumbles the football. It's going to be a safety as Johnny Troutman recovers for Penn State. All created by the punter Ryan Donahue, who created field position for Iowa. While the Hawkeyes certainly moved the ball better than they had in the first quarter, Penn State's defense would hold. They still have not allowed a first-half touchdown this season. At the most critical times, they've been at their best. 41-yard attempt. Put down, kick is up by Murray, and the kick by Murray is good. It's a 10-5 game. Second and 10. Clark back to pass. Clark sets to the pocket, delivers downfield, sliding to the turf, and it is incomplete. Instant replay up. Stairs will want to see this. That looks like a catch to me. That looks Maybe like a catch. Instant replay may stop this. Yeah, I think they will. Incomplete pass. Wow! Penn State may have been on their home field, but they weren't getting any advantage other than the ones they created themselves. Iowa had been looking for someone to replace Sean Green at running back, but Penn State was determined not to let them find him in this game. Just when it looked like Penn State was going to get the ball back with nearly two minutes to play in the half, they were called for running into the punter. Took away a final scoring opportunity for Penn State just as the Lions' defense did to Iowa. Back he goes, throws far side, it is caught by Chief, belted away! What a hit that time! Stefan Morris, talk about reading it! Brian Donahue will hold, it's on the near hash angle for Murray to his left from 42 yards out. Kicks no good, he missed it! Daniel Murray misses from 42 yards out, and the running into the kicker penalty goes for Donahue, went wide right.
A steady rain did nothing to dampen the enthusiasm of a White House crowd that once again showed why football at Beaver Stadium has been called the greatest show in college sports. Through much of the first half, the play on the field matched the atmosphere in the stands. But as the night wore on, Penn State's offense would start to match the weather. Penn State had 147 yards on their first two drives, minus 12 cents. It's third down and five for Penn State, their own 35. Clark in the gun. Looking to make a play. Back he goes. Sets up. Protection. Complete. First down. 40. 45. Corliss hit at the 48 and drop there. Andrew Corliss and the Nittany Lions convert the first down play. A 14-yard strike. And here is Royster sprinting out to the right. Short of the first down. Lone setback Royster. Royster up the middle. Royster first down to the 41-yard line. But they move the chains again. 11.44 left here in the third quarter. 10-5 Penn State. Clark gets the snap. Rolls near side. Looks downfield. He fires downfield. It's intercepted. Intercepted by Prater at the 30. Prater swings up field. Far side now. Gives ground where he breaks the tackle of Zug. Still on his feet at the 25 where Powell takes him down. And Iowa kills the Penn State drive. The first turnover by Penn State tonight. Pressure. Cole brings him down on the 34-yard line. The middle linebacker broke through on the right side of the defense and tracked him down. Josh Hall helped a depleted linebacking core, racking up 13 tackles for the second straight week. Two strong defenses and a wet evening put scoring at a premium, and Penn State continued to cling to their five-point lead. They would have loved to separate by two scores and force Iowa to open things up. Daryl Clark and Derek Moy connected, but on this night it was difficult to get wet footballs to cooperate consistently with hands or feet. Here's Colin Wagner now. It'll be a 48-yard attempt put down by Boone. The kick by Wagner is on his way, and that kick by Wagner is going to be short under the crossbar. Right now the Penn State offense just cannot finish the drive. Stands eight to Robinson. Robinson cuts back, hauls there with Bowman, and they take him down. Before the Iowa game, Penn State had won 30 of its last 32 home games. Part of the reason for that dominance is the great defense the Lions usually throw out there week in and week out. More than halfway through their fourth game and Penn State had still allowed just two touchdowns. They continued to pressure Iowa quarterback Ricky Stanzi, although sometimes for him it was a blessing in disguise when he didn't have time to throw the football. Four-man front, one setback, Reisner in motion. Back goes Stanzi. Time throws off Astorino and intercepted. AJ Wallace with a second career interception as Astorino deflected it, and the Nittany Lions do exactly that and get the takeaway. Boy, just a great job by Astorino, except he should have just hung on to the football. They put Stanzi in a position he didn't want to be in. And Penn State has it. So a team that rarely blitzes brings the linebackers that time, forced Clark way back out of his rhythm, and they have forced the Nittany Lions to punt. Boone takes it. It's blocked. Blocked by Claiborne. 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Iowa takes the lead on a huge special teams play. But the game was far from over, and despite the shock, Penn State's defense responded. Josh Hall got a sack and denied the two-point conversion try to keep it a one-point game. Still, for Penn State's offense, the second half was mostly one step forward, then two steps back. And uh, picked up a couple of yards, but uh, that'll make it uh, third down at long coming up now. 109,316 on the edge of their seats. Back he goes, steps away from pressure, delivers, through the hands of Royster and intercepted. 40, 45, near side 50 to the 40. Penn State turned the ball over four times in the second half. After the interception, Adam Robinson scored the first rushing touchdown against Penn State this season. Still, they did not go gently into the gloomy night. Down a touchdown, they were approaching the red zone when Evan Royster had the ball punched out from behind, and along with it went the hopes of beating Iowa. But the hopes of becoming a really good football team still burned bright.